I have 18 different lenses at the moment and I have worked with at least 10 others and I like this one the most for any video work. This is series Saturn 35mm T2.9. It is almost glued to my Panasonic S52X. I do not want to bore you to death with technical details about this lens. You can watch all other technical reviews if you want to know the specs, but I want to mention a few things no one is talking about and maybe a few that are already better known. So this lens is 35mm and even though it offers 22 mm wide field of view, you should treat it as 35. The main pro being 35 mm is a background compression compared to 22 mm spherical lens, but there are also cons. So this is 35 mm in terms of stabilization, so shake is much more pronounced than on wide spherical lenses. It is basically as shaky as spherical 35 mm, or even worse, because if you use IBIS, you can see the warping on the screen. It seems like the sensor is moving back and forth. And also, when you pan, you should use the speed compatible with the 35, not 22, because otherwise your footage would be very jerky. And what about minimum focus distance? It is 90 centimeters. It is unfortunately not that close, as in this shot. If you want any close-ups, you need diopters. Which diopters to use and what is the minimum focus distance with the diopters? Look at these shots and you can judge yourself. Unfortunately, I haven't found the diopters which are fully compatible with the Tilta Mirage. I got a set of three used diopters for around 30 bucks and they are quite okay in terms of the quality. They are kind of compatible because they introduce small vignetting if used together with the Tilta Mirage. And actually Tilta Mirage 95mm rings introduced the vignetting because they got additional internal 58mm thread. The real deal 95mm diopter starts from 150 bucks a piece and it is hard to say they are really compatible with the Tilta Mirage so I haven't got one. The lens is small, well built and reasonably priced in my opinion and the rumor says there would be 60 and 90 millimeters in the same four factor so you can actually create a set for quite reasonable price. I usually use this lens like this so just S52X cage and top handle no additional monitor no additional stuff and I've been able to get this combo to some places which do not allow any professional recording because they just thought I'm a tourist with a small tourist camera. So check what I've been able to get with this lens and if you want to buy one you can use my affiliate link in the description down below. Cheers mate!